Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Git tutorial, we are going to discuss about the GitHub, what is GitHub and the basic Git workflow. So this understanding is really important, the difference between Git and GitHub or the correlation between Git and GitHub because when we say Git or when we learn Git, GitHub is the term that goes hand in hand with Git. So Git and GitHub are always considered together. So let's see what are the similarities and what are the differences that you need to understand between git and github so when we talk about git git is distributed version control system that we have understood in the previous tutorial now github is git repository hosting service it's a cloud service it's a cloud you know web service that is that allows you to host your git repositories over the cloud now what is the advantage of github what why do we need to host our repositories over the cloud now say for example i have been teaching you the whole automation framework and i have written all my code on my local machine now this code is still on my local machine and many of you have reached me out to share this particular code so how can i share this code i can either share it via the email i can zip it and email it to each and every one of you or if there is any cloud service wherein i can simply just push in this code and it is available for all of you and you can simply get that code from that particular cloud location so github is nothing but it is a, it is a git repository hosting service so whatever code that i have written till now right this is this is the test automation framework code that is there on my machine i can host it on the github now this is still not tracked by git so i'll as we go along with this git and github tutorial i'll be explaining how you can use git to basically push it into the git repository and then eventually into the github repository right so github so if you see github is the remote repository and if we go to the github website so github is not just only the git repository it has a lot of advanced feature of collaboration and if you'll see that there are so many open source project that are available on github right so you'll see that 65 plus million developers are using github 3 plus million organizations and 200 plus Plus million repositories so when we say repositories if you we have been learning about selenium right so if you simply go ahead and search selenium this is an open source project and selenium repository all the selenium code is available on github because this is a public repository it's an open source it's a public repository and if you want to contribute to this particular code you can go to this repository and you can enhance or you can do the contribution right you will see that contributors are here so this is what github basically provides so all the source code that is there for a particular open source project is available you can directly use it you can download it you can basically you know um, fork it and use and you know work on that particular code so this is the whole advantage of github apart from that github provides a lot of you know web interface so like git usually will be doing the command line github will be providing you the web interface to check in the code or you know have uh, raised the pull request etc so that's the another advantage i personally prefer the command line because command line is something which git was when git was built it was built for as a, it was built as a command line tool and not as a web tool so usually any new feature that comes as part of the git rollout is first goes into the command line tool so any web tool will pick it up later so that's why you know learning git via the command line is the first and foremost thing you should be looking for so that's a brief about the github now let's go ahead and understand the workflow right so if you see the basic git workflow now what happens is now if we see the working directory here right so this was the working directory where i saved my project right so this is the project test automation framework files that are saved on my computer so this is the working directory if you see right so when we say basic workflow of git and github this is a diagram that will help you to understand what exactly git does and what github so working directory is where all your project files are when we write the code in pycharm or eclipse this is where I saved 
my project right now what exactly git does so git as we know is a distributed version control system now here because i haven't had any git so if i was changing anything in say for example yatra launch page or search flights results page code it is not being tracked at all right if i would have been using git all the changes that were there in this code in the file or any of the file in this particular project would have been tracked okay so that's the whole advantage of git so now say for example i am having git on my computer right so git is basically tracking all the files that are there in my project so what will happen if say for example i change a particular directory or i change something else in the file so git will track those changes and then those changes can be version control if i want to undo something so i can go ahead and undo the changes that i have done say for example today i i introduced some new feature today which broke all my test cases that were working till yesterday so with the with git i can undo and i can switch back to the yesterday's code so now say for example in the working directory this was the working directory i open pycharm and i change certain file or in the page objects i change uh, something in the yatra launch page right now this is the file that is there in my working directory yatra launch page now once i am fine with the changes i can then hold these files or push these files into the staging area so this is staging area is the holding area that will hold the files before you can commit to the repository so say for example you're working for a particular day you have done certain changes in many of the files so you can move those files to the staging area and finally by end of the day you can then commit those files into the git repository now what is the difference between you know the git repository and the staging area so git repository once you have committed the files into the repository it will track all the changes it will maintain all the history of the changes right so whatever version was there in the previous previous file whatever changes were there the current files that you have done the changes all those will be tracked in the git repository but in the staging area because it is not committed yet you can still move in and out of the staging area to the working directory and those file moving in and out of the staging area won't impact any of the version information that is maintained in the git repository so that's the change that's the difference between the staging area and the git repository staging area is basically just think about it as a holding area so in this folder in in my pycharm project i changed something in this flight results page in the yatra launch page then i went to you know uh, the the config file or the base and i changed something in the base driver as well so all those changes that i'm doing i i can just push those into the staging area or holding area right and once by end of the day i can then push those to the git repository okay so this is all in my local computer or basically this folder is where everything will be tracked right so just think about it that this the whole thing is you know not this whole thing that you see the folder uh, once you install git everything will be automatically internally managed you won't be able to see any of these stages that we are seeing here right so this is just to show you how internally git manages on the local computer the the git repository now coming back to the remote repository now we know that github is the git repository hosting service so once the git or you have committed all the changes on your local computer then how can you share that particular code with other people so i have been working on this test automation project and you guys have been um, reaching many of you have reached out to me that about the code right so how can i share this code with you one way is i can zip the file and individually email it to everyone right or whosoever has asked this to me or i can share it on some particular shared drive but that's not how developers work and same thing is for automation testers automation testers are basically the developers so you need to have a proper hosting service or the version control repository and that's where we are using git and github so github is git repository hosting service and it is available or it is mostly used for the collaboration so this git repository whatever i have on my local computer i can then push 
this particular say for example this file or the whole project that i have in my local repository i can then push it into the remote repository and it will be available to all of you i'll share the link and then from there you can download the code and you can basically collaborate on that code say for example there are many things that i haven't improved in this particular code so what you can do is you can just get the code on your machine you can work on the code and you can raise the pull request right so that's that's lot of advantages that you will get out of github now internally github itself manages these three different stages right so working directory staging area and git repository so github itself in any of the repository will have these three stages or workflow within it as well along with that github will provide you the user interface so we'll start learning git with the command line but github provides you the user interface to work with the code that is there in the remote repository all right so this is a brief introduction about the git and github what is the correlation between git and github and there is another service from atlassian or the git repository hosting service you would have heard of is bitbucket right so bitbucket is similar to what github is but it is from a different provider so git is the distributed version control system and github is git repository hosting service along with that it provides a lot of good collaboration and extra features so that's all for this particular tutorial i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching